my majors are my most precious uh, uh, things, if that makes any sense. I set out wanting to win as many majors as I could or to be as good a player as I could. And, and I think we are judged by the majors that uh, we've won. And I wouldn't give my two majors up for all the money in the world. Well, my first attempt at golf was with one of my father's clubs. But um, we went uh, back in the 50s, in 1953, when I took the game up, I, I went and got with my father to the sale room in Scunthorpe, and we got an old set of hickory shafted clubs that were stuck in the corner at the sale room. My dad bought them for whatever they cost, it was very little. And um, with the hickory shafts, which were wood obviously, I was able to take the grips off and saw, saw them down to, my, uh, to, 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 to the length I required at nine years old. And so it, well, there were a set of hickories and uh, the heads used to come loose in the summer when the wood dried out and if we were going to play golf, I used to have to stand him in a bucket of water so the wood would swell and the heads wouldn't rattle. There you are, that's a bit of history. <laughs> um, it's not cheap. Uh, I've got a young, my youngest son, I'm sponsoring him now. He's on the South American circuit and he's flying all over South America at my expense. Mm -hmm. and, and he's doing very nicely, but there's no substitute for the experience he's getting. It, it, at, at the varying levels, it, it's, uh, it's the, the travel and the hotels to you have to stay in to go and play in these tournaments. It's not cheap. It, it's, it's not cheap. Once you leave your own uh, little nest, it's uh, traveling is a uh, expensive business, but the rewards are great also.